Hey y'all, happy Wednesday, better than Wednesday, happy crafting day. I'm so excited. I have not crafted in days and so I'm super excited to be able to craft with you guys tonight and I want to show you what we're working on tonight. So this is one of our projects for tonight. This is our trick-or-treat door hanger with our gnome. He's super, super cute. Hey Tiff. So we're gonna be doing this one, but we are also gonna be doing, cause y'all know I love this wagon. We are gonna be doing the Halloween pieces that go into our wagon. Hey Terry, so this is the Halloween set for the wagon that we're gonna be working on tonight along with our gnome door hanger. So I'm excited to get started with you guys. Um, a couple things, I think. I'm not even all together yet from, from getting back, but I wanna thank everybody. We had so many calls and text messages and messages and emails from you guys about our trip, and I so appreciate it. It was a little bit more difficult than I expected it would be to drop her off. Um, I did really, really good until she cried and then I cried, but she is adjusting nicely and is enjoying classes, so thank you to everyone who reached out and gave us best wishes for that. So we are gonna go ahead and get started. We do have a couple classes tonight. I only have one posted, but I will post the others tomorrow. Also, if you are interested in doing any of your kits at the shop, let me know and I will make sure to have them ready for you to do with us this weekend. I will be away again next week, but this won't affect you guys except Wednesday night for a live because I am going to see my little boy. So I'm gonna be going to Colorado to see my son for a few days. But everybody's got it under control. Linda and Terry have got it under control at the shop, so you won't see a difference except on a live Wednesday night. And I may go live from Colorado, but we won't be crafting. We'll just be checking out the area. So, hey, Lynn. So let's go ahead and get started with our cutesy projects for tonight. And thank you, thank you guys for keeping me busy. The flash sale, the mice are away, the cat's away, the mice will play. That was very well played on Ashley's part. And it will keep me busy, so thank you very much. I'm gonna go ahead and tilt you down and we're gonna go ahead and get started. I think I'm gonna start with the wagon set um, just because it's got more pieces laying everywhere. So I'll move these other things out of the way. All of the bases to these are black, so we're gonna start there and his little eyes are black. So we'll put the framework over there. These are black as well, and we're gonna leave this natural. On the sample that I just showed you, I used an aged wheat stain, which kinda is the same look as natural. Um, that will be included in your kit, but I think it'll look really pretty natural, so I'm gonna leave this one natural, just cause I don't see much, ooh, crash and burn. I don't see much difference. So I'm gonna leave these pieces all natural. All right, so let's go ahead and get painting because I am going through withdrawal, y'all. I have not painted, well, since Friday night's live before I left. So, <laughs> and I'm a little bit concerned at how I'm gonna do for a whole five days in Colorado without painting. But I, I hear that my son's gonna keep us quite busy. So I guess that'll help. But y'all know I'm gonna find a craft store and y'all know I'm gonna find an antique store. So. You might as well count on it. You're probably gonna see it. And of course, we've suspended our um, Make My Mantle Monday until September 6th because I've been in and out on Mondays um, pretty regularly, it seems. So once uh, once we get back from that trip, we'll be all settled in until the holidays. And so um, Make My Mantle Mondays will be back. And I can't wait for you to see the mantles I have planned. Oh, the one on the 6th is gonna be totally fall, like all the fall projects that I like the best, that I have chosen as the ones, those are gonna be on the mantle for that Monday. And then I'm gonna do a really, really cool Halloween one for you. Super excited. All right, so we're just gonna, we're just painting all these frames for these, cause these are layered. Um, we're just painting them all black and that just makes them really, really pop. I'm just gonna go over each section. I hope everybody's having a great day. It's a little hot today, but it was gorgeous. I got kind of spoiled in the mountains. It's about 10 degrees cooler. So we actually had to get sweatshirts to wear to go to dinner every night, which was fun. I'm ready for that weather, I'm not even gonna lie. 
So I like all the things that come with summer, like the pool and the beach and cute sandals, lots of pedicures, but I don't like the weather. I would much prefer the fall weather-wise because I love sweatshirts and hoodies and putting a blanket on and sitting out by the fire pit. So I am all for fall. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for some pumpkin spice chai latte too. So I hear it's out. It's just too hot for me. So I have to wait. And I know it seems a little early for Halloween, but you got to get your projects going early so that you have them when it's time to put them out because you want the most time you have available to enjoy them. So I probably put things out a little earlier than most just because of what I do. Um, but also because I want a longer time to enjoy the projects that I've done. And so they go out a little sooner than most, but that's okay. That's the beauty of it being my house and my things. I can decide when they go out and you can do the same thing. Hey, Aaron. Hey, mom. So let's get these frameworks all painted. I have been working on the tree for the ghost ornaments. I know I showed you a sneak peek of those ornaments for a Halloween tree. I have finished the tree, so you might, you might get a sneak peek of that whole thing tomorrow. I'm super pleased with how it turned out. I think it's a great addition to our interchangeable things because um, I'm going to do a tree to put ornaments on for every holiday because it is a gorgeous, gorgeous tree. I, I'm absolutely in love with the tree itself. All right, so this is the little mouth for the ghost, and here are the eyes. So I'm just gonna paint those really quickly, and then we're gonna paint the Happy Halloween, and then we can do the backgrounds, and then we'll be ready to put them all together and put them in our wagon. Y'all know I love that wagon. Gosh, I love that wagon. But I did find something interesting that will use the pieces, the interchangeable pieces, but make them into a basket for a door hanger. So for those of you who aren't really big on the wagon but love all these insert pieces, I have something just for you, and you will see it on Friday. So those of you who would prefer to put these pieces in like a, a basket on a door hanger, I have got just the thing for you. I love interchangeable pieces, in case you hadn't noticed. Absolutely love them. Everybody was very surprised that I went across the swinging bridge. But I will tell you, it wasn't as swingy as the original one. so. I felt a little bit better about that at Grandfather Mountain, but it was very, very windy and very, very scary in other parts of the trail because you're right on the side of these cliffs and um, yeah, but the views were worth it, definitely worth it. And I came back feeling recharged, lots of ideas. Um, so I'm looking forward to this season. Lots of changes coming our way, but I know that they are all for the good of Lilac Lane DIY, and so we are gonna trudge forward. I don't like change, y'all, so making any kind of change is terrible to me, terrible, but that's okay. All right, so I think that's all the black that we need to use for all of the projects, and so I think we're done with that now. This is natural, so we're gonna leave that alone. We've got our little ghost here. He obviously needs to be white, so let's go ahead and, and do the white. Let's go ahead and do that on a brush I like. Some white paint. All right, so I'm just gonna give him a good coat of white so he can be ghostly. I 
I just love these parts for this wagon. Like I said, anything interchangeable really piques my interest um, because I love being able to put something out and leave it out and then just change the elements in it. I think for those of us who are a little bit limited on space, that is huge as well to be able to put that wagon out and decorate every season right from that wagon or right from the tiered trays or right from your um, leaning ladders, which I absolutely love too. Okay, so this little guy is about done, but we're gonna go ahead and paint the candy corn from our other sign while we're while we have the white out because this is the hat of our gnome for our second sign so while i have the big brush out i'm going to go ahead and paint that get that out of the way and that way we'll be done with the big brush of white and we can move on to the next part of this Okay, that should be good. Let's set that over to the side and then I'm gonna get my little candy corn for this project. Now, I did it the opposite way when I painted it the first time, so we're gonna, we're gonna work with this. So I'm gonna do the white at the top and you're gonna eyeball this because you're gonna need to keep taking your frame and checking it out to make sure that you're getting it where it needs to go. It has inside pieces, so I will include them with your, with your kit so that if you would prefer just to paint the little innards and then put them back in, you can. I just liked it to look like a frame. All right, so that's good on that one. So then we can move on to our next color. We can move on to our orange. So where it looks like it's just um, empty on this one, there's the inner pieces. So I will include those for those of you who would prefer not to have to eyeball all of this. All right, so now, oops, I'm making a mess over there. Always making a mess. Get that orange paint off of there before it dries. Okay. All right, so now we'll just do this little section. Nothing has to be completely exact because you've got that framework that goes around. So you don't have to touch the edges of each color. You just have to make sure that you get um, everywhere that you need it so that it doesn't show. Which, I mean, it only takes a couple minutes, but again, I will include the inside pieces. So if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. All right. I'm gonna leave that out because we're gonna use that again for the other sign. And let's get the yellow moving right along. These are so adorable, oh my gosh. I'm not even a huge Halloween person, but I love me some candy corn. Oh my gosh. I could decorate my entire house for Halloween with candy corn. Candy corn everything. on my brush. That's okay. All right, so that's all good. And you see, when you put it all on, I don't want to completely sit it down because it's wet, but look how stinking cute that is. Oh, adorable. Love it. All right, so we've got that one done. Let me set that over here to dry. And now we just have to paint our pumpkin with that same orange that we used on the candy corn. Easy peasy. Just gonna give it a good coat. I love these layered pieces because they go together quickly. You know, you paint each individual section, then you glue it together, and you have this really cool piece that looks like you spent a lot more time on it than you did. 
I also, for those of you who have the wagon or are interested in ordering the wagon, I am gonna do a um, video tutorial on how to put it together. I know that a couple of you expressed some interest in that because you had a hard time putting it together. Once you see how it goes together, you're gonna be like, oh, that's super easy. Um, but I will do a video showing you how to construct the, um, the wagon and I will post that on our Facebook page. Hopefully tomorrow, um, if not tomorrow, then for sure Friday before our live. All right, perfect. Now we're just gonna let all these pieces dry. So what I'm gonna do, because we left this natural, I can go ahead and start gluing the Happy Halloween on. And that one will be out of the way. And then we're gonna work on our gnome pieces and put everything back together. So I'm gonna squeeze some glue out on my paper. Y'all know the drill. And then I'm just gonna dab it in the glue. And stick it on. Thank you, Angela. I'm glad to be back and I am so ready to craft this weekend too. I, I feel like I'm I'm um, going through withdrawals from crafting. All right, so there's our happy Halloween. And of course, you guys know, for those of you who have done this one, this just slides in here, in theory, and then it hangs over your wagon, which I will show you once we get all the pieces complete. So we'll set that one aside. And the ghost may be dry enough to do the same. So I think I'm just gonna keep moving ahead because I probably can do all this before I start on the gnome door hanger. I have got some ladies that still love, love, love the gnomes. So I'm excited about this trick or treat one that we're getting ready to do. He's fun, he's not, um, I, he's not creepy, he's not too gnomey, he's just, I don't know, he's just super cute. Super, super cute. Now you guys know, you've seen me do this before, I go around all my edges with black so that everything looks finished when I'm done. It's just a quick trick. You can use a brush, you can use a paint pen. Um, a brush is usually easier for that to just, um, just go around all your edges and then it looks just like it did before you started. And then his little mouth, oh, he's shocked. All right, I feel him. I'm shocked too most of the time. All right, so now let's put our candy corn together. Just a little bit of glue. Y'all, I can't tell you how excited I am to be crafting with y'all tonight. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm in my happy place. And I had so much fun at work today. Y'all just give me a couple days off and I'm like a new person. I had the best day at work today. All my favorite people came, well, a lot of my favorite people came in, not all of them. Oh, and I stuck my yellow finger on my, on my candy corn. We can't have that. Fix that right away. All right, there we go. Guys, I did a good old job on that one. Okay, move that one out of the way. Let's glue this jack-o-lantern together. He's so cute. Okay. So once you have these all glued together and they're nice and dry, that's the key, nice and dry, because even though this looks like it's stuck good, you have to let it dry good. Because otherwise, as I know y'all have seen at the shop on some of my projects, it will slide down and they won't be in the right place. And we can't have that. You gotta have cutesy projects. All right, super adorable look at him. He's so cute. I love him. All right, so there they are. I'm gonna show you again this finished one over here since it's already together. Maybe if I don't rip it apart. <laughs> All right, so this handle or this um, piece just slides on. And for every one that you get, you get a new one of these. So that makes it all completely interchangeable. And then you just put your pieces in and you have a happy Halloween interchangeable wagon set. Adorable, adorable. I love this, love this. So when I'm finished with the other one, I want you guys to do me a favor. I want you to put into the comments whether the wagon 
or the gnome was your favorite project for tonight. Okay, wagon or gnome, that's what you're gonna do for me at the end tonight. All right, hey Bonnie. All right, so let's move on to this cutie pie gnome, okay? He is adorable, I'm not even gonna lie to you, he's adorable. I lost my little dot for my O, but that's okay. Oh, no, I didn't, here he is, here he is. Okay, so I've already stained my board, so I'm gonna put that aside and paint all the parts for you really quick. We're just gonna paint trick or treat. Okay, and then we're gonna paint his little beard and his nose, and of course we already painted the top of his hat while we were doing the others. So super, super simple. Just like you do everything else. Just go ahead and give this a good coat of paint. Because we've already made one of these, we are going to offer one of our finished projects for sale. So you will be able to purchase them from the shop. This won't be on the website. It'll just be in the shop. Um, they are $4 more for a finished project. So whatever you see on the website for the kit, just add $4 and you can purchase the ones that we make tonight. Um, and I will post when it's sold so that you guys know. So if you want a finished one, you can always just comment finished project sold on our lives and you will be able to um, pick that up. So if you're just not feeling like crafting but you love the project, we got you covered. We got you covered. Because I know there's more than a few of you. I get those messages all the time. All right, so there's treat. Now we're gonna do trick in yellow. I put the yellow away, of course. <laughs> I'd be scary if I got organized. Whew. Did I lose the dot again? Nope, there it is. <laughs> I did and I didn't. Okay, put a little yellow on there. And now, we'll set those aside. Work on his beard. His beard and the word or are both gonna be the same color. They are gonna be this granite gray. We're gonna go back with our paint pen and do some details to his beard when we're all done, just to give it a little extra pizzazz. Because I love my Posca markers and I use them for lots of detailing on projects. Love them, love them, love them. I know I have a few people here who absolutely love them. I know Carol has them and loves them. They are just, I can't even tell you, until you use one, it's hard to, um, describe how different they are than a regular paint pen. I don't know why it is, they just are. Whoops, about to do the white instead. I got carried away talking about my markers. I love my markers. And most of you have heard this story before, but of course I, I bought one in an art supply store. I only wanted the one, I just wanted to try it for hand lettering on some door hangers. And my husband must have been looking for Christmas ideas because he ordered the whole set of fine and medium and thick ones in every color and gave it to me for Christmas. And I was a little disappointed because of course I hadn't really used a lot of them and I didn't really um, 
want something to work with for Christmas. But let me tell you, he usually hits it out of the park with Christmas gifts, and that one was no different. Every day when I use my Posca markers, I think how glad I am I got those markers for Christmas. And yes, I tell him. <laughs> I try to remind him what a great present they were because they definitely were one of the one of his top 10 gifts that he's ever given me. He's a pretty good gift giver too, so that's pretty good to be in the top 10 with those markers. All right, so here's his little nose. I'm just using some sun-kissed peach to make his nose. And now what I'm gonna do, I could not, and y'all laugh at me, because y'all know I'll use anything to make polka dots, anything at all. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Donna. And so I had this dowel rod, and it's the right size for my polka dots, and so that's what I used on the first one, and that's what I'm gonna use on the second one. I will use just about anything to make polka dots, and this is what I had, so this is what I'm using. I will say, if you're gonna use something like this, make sure you push down all the way so you get a good polka dot, because it's, it's not probably um, the easiest <laughs> tool I've used, let's put it that way, but it did work, and so I'm gonna go with it. I'll make a polka dot out of just about anything. Whoops, we got a half a polka dot there. All right, let's see what we got. There we go. And I don't really care about perfection here. I want it to be quirky. And when they dry, I'm gonna go back in with my white marker, and of course I'm gonna make some detail lines, like the shadowing that you would see. All right, so that's good. That's all I'm gonna do with that, and then I'm gonna wipe this off because it has now become a polka dotter, and I will be using it forevermore as a polka dot tool. <laughs> Yay, all right, so let's set that aside. I think we have all of the elements now painted and ready to put together. So let me get this up so that I don't mess up the back of my sign while we put this together. Oh, I gotta do the details on here. So here's my black Posca marker. And I'm just gonna go around these edges with a little line, just kind of nothing extreme. There's nothing really to it. It just gives it a little detail. That's, that's all I do. All right, so now let's put all these elements together. We're gonna lay out our gnome so we can see where he needs to be in relation to our trick or treat. This is so stinking cute, oh my gosh. Okay, that's adorable. I am gonna move it over a little because treat is not where I want it to be. So there we go. Perfect. So I'm just gonna take one element off at a time and start gluing them on until we have the whole sign put together. And then of course, I made a cute little bow for this guy because I couldn't help myself. So we'll put some twine on it and throw the bow on and it will be a finished project. We made record time on these two projects. I get asked a lot if I paint this fast at home for my own projects, and I don't. I really take my time and enjoy the process. So I know you guys are always wondering why it takes you so much longer. It takes me a lot longer when I am um, painting at home or at the studio, not for a video. So there's nothing wrong with how long it takes you to paint. Nothing at all. Okay, let's glue this beard on, get the hat on and the nose, and then we are gonna deck it out with a bow and some ribbon, I mean some, a bow and some twine. Of course, polka dots are still wet, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this on, and then I'm gonna move over to the finished one and glue the bow onto that one so that I don't mess up my polka dots while they're drying. 
I will go ahead and put his nose on there. His little nose right there. Look how stinking cute that is. Adorable, just adorable. All right, so, uh-oh, my hot glue gun died on me. So we will not be hot gluing the bow on, but all I did was put a double piece of twine on here, tied a knot, and then I'm gonna glue my bow right there. And there is your finished trick-or-treat door hanger with the gnome. He is so stinking cute. So stinking cute. I just love him. I love him. Like I said, I'm not even a Halloween person, but I do love um, I do love all these projects. Hey, Amanda, did y'all have a good time at dinner? Was it yummy, yummy? I have never been there, but I'm, I'm dying to try it. So here is the trick-or-treat gnome. Super, super cute. I think he's 24. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'll have to double check on that. And then here is, of course, the Halloween. The Halloween wagon. And you guys have probably seen the pumpkin ones on the website. So there's a fall harvest. There's the Halloween. There is a cat. There is a back to school. There is a birthday. Tomorrow there will be a dog. And we're gonna be doing a, of course, a Thanksgiving, and then we'll move into Christmas for all of our pieces. And like I said, you will see on Friday, the basket door hanger that will allow you to use these as a door hanger instead of a wagon, if the sitting wagon just isn't for you. So I'm super excited about that. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. I'm off to create some new projects now and try to catch up on all the things that I have not. Isn't he cute? See, I think that's amazing, Lynn. So now I'm gonna go cut and play with all the things that I was not able to while I was in the mountains and all the things I won't be able to while I'm visiting Will. So I have got lots of fun things planned for you guys this next two weeks um, or this next week before I leave. And then of course, when I get back, we are gonna be moving of course into fall and Christmas and you will be seeing some changes around the place, mostly on the back end, things that you probably won't notice. But if you do see anything quirky or, or you have any issues, please direct them to me on the, um, the business Facebook page or email me privately and I will take care of them for you. And I hope to see you guys back here on Friday where we're going to get creative again. Have a great night, guys. Bye.